emo rock is nothing to be afraid of. It's like a kind of, you know, post-punk rock music where you have boys and bands who are like really upset about things and singing very heartfelt. It's called emo because it's very emotional. So I think both Alex and I found that actually for Broadway where, you know, the great show tunes are when, you know, when people can't speak anymore, they finally break into song because they're so emotional. That's just like emo music where people, these boys feel so deeply that they just have to sing this rock song. When we first started talking about Andrew Jackson, Alex was like, isn't he kind of an emo rock president? And as we were thinking about it, we were like, yeah. And so I I was a fan of some emo bands, but then once we came up with the idea, I did a copious amount of research. So my, my, iP- uh, my iPod is full now of lots of emo music, some of it terrible, but a few of the bands that we love, that I love, are Dashboard Confessional and Weezer and Fallout boy, all of which have contributed to the way I've written the score. He's incredibly angry and passionate and upset about something. He's not always sure what he's angry and passionate and upset about, but he knows that he's really angry. And that, to me, is very much like it. Also, as we did our research, the fact that he was like a cutter with his wife, that they bled themselves, felt very emo. And so the more research we did, the more we discovered, in fact, that he was even more emo than we thought. I tend to be a throw things at the wall until they stick kind of guy, so you kind of write things and find what works works and as you learn that you keep going but I don't know I, I tend to work not in a very systematic way I, I, I wait till ideas come to me and then I run with them we had written the first version of the show which Ben then saw a workshop of and approached us about talked to it we, that was up at the Williamstown Theater Festival and he came and said you know this is something I'd be interested in talking to you guys about and so in some ways I think we found the character that we were conceiving, we actually found the perfect thing, man to embody an idea we had in our head where both of us have been like, who would ever play this role? Who could we ever find who's tall and handsome and can sing and is such a good actor and is funny and scary and all those great things. So We've made some changes and obviously the move to a bigger space, to uptown, in the design, in the sound of the show, in even the writing, we want to make sure that you know we're polishing the show to the shiniest place it can be to, to give the audience their money's worth.